Hey folks, this is Gazwan Kari over at SharePointQuester.com. Today we'll be going over automating SharePoint backup using Windows PowerShell. We're going to use Windows PowerShell and we're going to use the Windows Task Scheduler to create the scheduled task. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first we're going to create a backup script. So for that I'm going to go to my C drive and on my C drive I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it Scripts. Within scripts, then I will create a new file, and this file I will call backup, and I'm going to change under organize uh, folder and search options. I'm going to first of all display hide extensions. I'm going to go ahead and display the extensions because I'm going to change the uh, extension of this file. But before I do so, we're going to type the following text in here. We're going to say add PSS snappin Microsoft dot SharePoint dot PowerShell. We're going to be calling this from the, from the schedule task. And then we're going to be running backup SP farm and then the directory so we're going to do slash directory is going to be uh, the name of the box here which is SharePoint 2010 and then my folder share for where the backups are going to go and it's going to be SharePoint backup let me just confirm that this is the name of it so if I go back to C drive I've got SharePoint backup let me I might as well just grab it right through here this way there's no room for errors come back in here and type and just paste it and then uh, also say here this is we're gonna add the backup method and that is full alright so make sure that I've got a dash here dash here adds PS snap in Microsoft alright so this is good we're gonna go ahead and save this and then we're gonna go back to scripts right click rename this and we're going to change the execution the uh, extension here to ps1 all right so now that we've created the script we're going to go ahead and create the schedule so we're going to do start admin tools task scheduler we are going to add or create a task the name of the task we'll call it backup SharePoint this is full the description of it this is a backup of the entire SharePoint farm we're gonna run whether the user is logged on or not we are gonna run with the highest privileges next to triggers we're gonna create new we're gonna click new this is how often we're gonna run this and we're gonna say run daily and say OK and then next to actions we're gonna add a new action make sure this is starting a program and the program is power shell exe and then next to add arguments we're gonna grab the file property here uh, so let's well let's just go back and type it create task this is C scripts this is what did we call it backup dot PowerShell one okay so let's just, just make sure everything is okay we'll go ahead and say okay here and we'll go ahead and say okay here provide your password and click OK so before uh, so this is gonna run on schedule basis obviously right so before we actually run on schedule basis I wanna go back to that same folder location I'm gonna get rid of all my previous backups just go ahead and delete them it's not something you probably wanna do but I just wanna make sure that you know this is gonna run on schedule basis I wanna make sure when I initiate it I wanna show you the fact that it's gonna run behind the scenes so we'll say 
and new or we'll say run right now so it's going to be running right now we'll switch over to the file share and wait for the uh, new file to come out today with, with today's date which is the 3rd of April alright so we've got a new folder in there and the files are gonna start generating. So this concludes this video of automating SharePoint backup using Windows PowerShell. Thanks for listening in and until next time.